Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. Uh, so today we will be discussing on atmospheric refractions, which is a uh, topic in the chapter named as the human eye and the colorful world. Okay, so till far we have discussed about the human eye, okay, refractive index and uh, when a light passes through a prism, what happens and when a white light passes through a prism, what happens to it. Okay, so now we will discuss about atmospheric refraction. Okay, students. So, students, you might have observed that a turbulent stream of hot air rising above a fire or a, a turbulent stream of stream of hot air rising above a fire or a radiator above a fire okay and the air just above the fire becomes hotter than the air further than up okay so let me write this the air just above the fire is hotter than the air further up then the air further up okay so what i am trying to say here is the air just above the fire and the hottest air is lighter than the cooler air okay so that is why it has a slightly refractive index change. So what I am trying to say here is hotter air is lighter hotter air is lighter than the cooler air. So it has a and it has a refractive index slightly lesser than the lesser than the cold air ok students so basically let's say this is the difference this is n1 and n2 this is the hotter air here okay and here is cooler air means air at slightly less temperature okay so n1 is less than n2 which means the refractive index of hotter air is slightly lesser than the cooler air cooler air uh, refractive index okay so now we will discuss about twinkling of stars why stars appear to be at a different position than its apparent position okay so let me first erase this students as i told you that there are a uh, change in the refractive index okay when you come down to the uh, surface of the earth from the like a person is standing here at the surface of earth there is a refractive index n1 n2 n3 uh, depends on the air at this means depends on the temperature of the air at the in this so n1 less than n2 less than n3 so when light comes from the stars doesn't uh, come in a straight line okay so there is a slightly change in the position of the star so it appears to us that the star is here okay this is the apparent position and this is the actual position so why there is a change in the apparent position and the actual position because of only of the refractive index so because of the refractive index as i have told you 
that light like, say this is n1 n2 when light enters this so there is a bend in the light okay so it depends on the snell's law which means so let's say this is i and this is r so n1 sin i should be equals to n2 sin r okay so this is the snell's law which we will uh, further study in our uh, further classes okay so basis on this there is a bending of light occurs okay so that is why there is also a shift in the actual position and the apparent position of the stars okay students so this is the application or you can say the atmospheric refraction because of the atmosphere there is a refraction so this phenomena is called as refraction as you have know okay so now let me discuss about advance sunrise advance sunrise and delayed sunset okay student what is the difference between these so at the time of the sunrise because of the atmospheric refraction the sun appears to sunrise uh, actually before 2 minutes let's say this is sun this is earth okay and this is sun okay so here is the observer on the surface of earth okay so when light enters so let's say sun is not uh, uh, sunrise get properly okay so when light enters on the surface so this is the horizon okay so sun appears to be from here so this is sun actual and this is apparent okay because of the refractive index of the medium through which the light travels to the observer there is a change in the refractive index and because of the change of the refractive index there is a slightly bend of the light and due to this bend the sun appears to be here okay so when sun appears to be here it means the sun actually doesn't doesn't sunrise okay but it appears to be sunrise 2 minutes before the actual sunrise okay students so i hope that you are pretty clear about what is twinkling of stars and advance sunrise and delayed sunset similarly in the case of sunset the sunset appear to be like 2 minute after uh, because before it is actually sunset okay so it is also because of the refractive index of the uh, atmosphere okay so i hope students now you are pretty clear about what is the atmospheric refraction and the two phenomena is based on this but one is twinkling of stars and the another one is uh, advance sunrise and delayed sunset and if you have still any issue or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning